vlogging. Hey guys, it's currently Sunday. Tyler and I are picking up our washers and dryers today. Today's a pretty jam-packed day for us. I was very eager to vlog because we have daylight savings, so we fell back an hour, which was so nice. I got up at six in the morning. I went live with a bunch of you amazing, beautiful souls over on TikTok. So that was fun. If you're not following me on TikTok, go ahead and do so. I go live on TikTok every day if not nearly every day and i really haven't missed a daily live but maybe 10 times out of the past year if you ever want to catch me on live i do go live at 7 a.m pacific standard time but yeah i'm waiting on ty and then he and i are gonna go and get our washers and dryers i think my neighbor's coming hold on actually i think it's just her daughter but her and her daughter are gonna go i hope you guys are having a great day so far all right i did my best but we just finished up at the park it's a beautiful day here in SoCal. My phone is dying per usual. Let's do this. Actually lives like. Ready? Got one out. So Ty and Andy already took one. I think they went back here. The first piece of cargo. Sweet, easy. Ty's getting cobwebs off, but we got the washers and dryers here at the house. You're out of the highness. Slowly still in the highness. Well, that's good. So we just delivered the washer and dryer to our house, so now we're loaded up, but as funny as it is, we're actually at an estate sale. It's a free estate sale. Oh, we backing it up more? I'm going forward. Oh. Anyways, Andy's grabbing a fridge. Don't drink oh. it. I'll try not to drink all of it. I'm serving. This is my water. What? And it's not it's not gonna go, dude. It's not Can you go. go like this? It's not gonna go, it's, it's like fucking good. I think it's good. So I just went live on TikTok. I did make some coffee this morning. I will link this frother down below. It's in my Amazon storefront. I have oatmeal right here and my phone's charging along with my computer because those are like something I have to take with me everywhere every day. I'm just gonna wash my face. I did have donuts yesterday and I've noticed how my skin breaks out the most from sugar. This is such a great moisturizer for every day. I think it's important to moisturize and then some off. And I put it like especially over my acne spots. I've got like five minutes, so let's get ready really quickly. I've been organizing this room because now that we have the laundry room downstairs, like this is gonna be downstairs. I'm gonna get rid of that painting. That's all going to Salvation Army. Um, but I reorganized like all oh, wrong side leggings. Good setup. Let's see. These little bitches are trying to get me in trouble because Ty's sleeping. Probably navy blue. TLF. Joggers. They're not joggers. I'll go Patagonia. Actually, I'm going to go with this one. This is what I'm wearing. I've got on. These are the TLF our Tempo leggings, but I'm wearing the Sculpt Bra. I'm probably gonna wear this shirt because this is the, this is from the unisex collection. Super cute. Um, so I'm just gonna wear that. So cute. So comfy. So fun. Oh my gosh, way better, huh? Time to go. Dang, the tide is so high. Walk in this little lady around town. I've just been walking the baby. 
around for about 30 minutes so far. We usually walk for about an hour. It's too wet to go to the park. So pretty. I just finished nannying and the focus is so out of whack. Oh, hold on. I just made it to Ralph's. I'm gonna get everything I can. I have a little bit of time and my camera's dying. So let's see what I can record. I finally made it to Ralph's. I actually get this, this is insane. I drove home from nannying to go to Ralph's to realize I don't have any of my money with me. I only have Apple Pay. So, of course, Ralph's doesn't have Apple Pay. Like I'll peek my head in and see if they do because they're getting it, but it just isn't installed yet. Anyways, I go home. I say hi to Ty, and then I go back to Ralph's. I forget my wallet again. <laughs> I like got distracted by him. It was cold, and I couldn't have the door open for long because it was freezing inside when I let the door open. Anyways, it threw me off really, really bad. I leave the house, <laughs> no wallet. I have to drive home, so I'm back at Ralph's. I'm gonna pick up as much as I can to hold over for like the next few days, so see ya. So Ty just left. The groceries are in the house. They're in the his house. Good morning. It's currently 7.38 in the morning. I naturally woke up at 5.49 in the morning. So that's a win in my book. So my, my phone is charging and I'm currently filming in like 4K. So you guys can see everything. Um, it's so cold here in Southern California. It's raining and pouring outside. So I thought I would give you some raw advice on how to build your fitness brand. I've been trying to give social media a go for like five years. I've learned a lot along the way. If you are interested in growing your social media platform, here are my biggest tips. Tip number one, you have to post consistently. You have to post every single day. I think we're in focus now. Okay, so you have to post every single day on whichever platform you tend to do the best in. A lot of companies usually rely on Instagram more as like your business card. So really try to make sure that your Instagram looks presentable, make it a creator account. And honestly, the more you post, the better, the better your practice is because when it comes to social media, it's not really about so much the quality it's more so about the quantity you definitely need quality but you definitely need quantity more than quality because you need to post every day for tiktok if you are interested in growing your tiktok account i can make a whole in-depth video on that because that is the platform that has served me the best i actually have the most fun on tiktok but tiktok i grew about a hundred thousand followers within i want to say like five to six or seven months um, when it came to TikTok, I had no faith in it because I had downloaded it and posted a video and it got like three views and then I thought, well, what's the point? I don't really know how I'm going to get traction on something where I don't have any friends to help me promote my account or give me some love, you know? Um, because not many people were on TikTok at the time. It turns out it really doesn't matter. Everybody also has their own community, whether you know it or not. That community is based on the people you know, your friends, your family, people who've just come across your account, decided to follow. That is your community. That is for you. So make sure to communicate with your community and pretend like they're your best friend and you're trying to give them the best advice possible. For TikTok, you have to be uploading one to three videos per day. If you really wanna see some traction, try and post three videos per day for 30 days and let me know how that works for you. With Instagram, you only really need one post a day. That's pretty much it. Uh, reels are very new, so if you're not comfortable with reels, I would definitely say start getting into it because they are definitely up and coming. They're definitely up and coming and I'm noticing that Instagram actually pays better than TikTok for reels versus TikTok videos. If you have over a thousand followers, please remember to go live so that you can communicate with your audience. It's like the best way to get to know them is to just go live and start talking to them. Um, I don't know what tip number I'm on, but posting times. There is a set time that you should post and it is inside of your apps. You can tell by looking at when your followers are all online. So if you check what day it was for, say today is, today's Tuesday. So I'm gonna look at the, the activity from last Tuesday and see how everyone is interacting. So, so that I can post when they're all online today. 
versus when they're not. Okay, so here's another thing I heard is like SEO, search engine operation, I don't know, organizer, operator. The words that you put in your video and on your caption and on your thumbnails or cover photos play a role in how it gets pushed out into the algorithm. Try to communicate to your audience what your video is about with just your cover photo. Let the cover photo do the talking. If you have friends on social media who maybe have a bigger following than you, make sure to collaborate with them if they're open to it. I've actually made a lot of friends by collaborating with girls who are like local to my town. We usually have like-minded interests, so you can actually make friends through social media. Some of my best friends are from social media and we continue to collaborate together because that's actually how our friendship was built. So it makes it really fun and really natural and just know that there are people out there who want to produce social media content too. So don't think you're a weirdo and you're the only one who wants to do it. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Make sure that you are putting on your best face for your audience just because I have noticed that people can actually sense your energy or say vibe, like people know your vibe just from the content that you produce. So if you're putting out somber content, people might not want to follow you. If you're putting out like upbeat, niche, happy, positive content, people are much more likely to follow you. And I know that might be hard because maybe that's not how you're feeling, but honestly, if you fake it till you make it, it will work. A lot of the times if I'm having a bad day, I'll go actually create content. And although I might not be feeling good or something, I will actually brave a face and then by the end of it, I always feel a lot better. So it's like oddly enough, a positive therapy tool that you can use if you use it wisely. It is pouring outside. And last tip is stick to your niche. Don't try to stray away from your niche. Every time I do that, it's always telling me that I shouldn't because I don't get much traction. Um, you definitely have to see what works for you. Sometimes it's talking videos, sometimes it's dancing, trends, whatever it may be. You just have to figure out what works for you and your audience. But I have also noticed that if you stray from your soul niche, people are not gonna wanna follow you if you are posting fitness and then the next day you're posting how to like, how to organize your garage or something, you know? Like it's not gonna add up. So it all needs to just make sense on the most simple level possible. So stick to your niche, mind's fitness. You need it to be something that you're also passionate about so that it comes out really natural um, because your audience will definitely know when you're faking it. <laughs> well, that is my video for you guys today. If you can, do me a huge favor. Please be sure to like and subscribe. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. My camera's blinking at me, so I think it's telling me that like my camera's overheating or something. I don't know, but do me a favor. Please be sure to follow me over on Instagram and on TikTok. I will definitely be doing more videos like this um, and I hope you guys have a great day.